I'm a senior at the United States Air Force Academy. I'm majoring in physics, concentration in nuclear physics, and I'm also a uh, glider instructor pilot at the 94th Flying Training Squadron. I'm Kayla Brown. I'm a junior at the United States Air Force Academy, and I'm a physics major with a concentration in astronomy. I am in the class of 2019. I'm a senior at the Air Force Academy, and I am a meteorology major. I'm Marcus Brinker. I'm a senior at the United States Air Force Academy, and I am majoring in physics. To be a successful officer in the United States Air Force, you're going to need to be more than just smart and educated. You need to be trained, you need to be ready for the high technology battle space. So the way we do it is it's a combination of academics, character and leadership development, military training, athletics, and various flying programs. Life is all about balance and here there is no better training <laughs> that you're going to get for balance than, than this. Our academic curriculum involves a lot of science, mathematics, and engineering courses. Our leaders need to be technology savvy. One of those science courses is physics, and we believe that that's foundational to the follow-on science and engineering courses. It underpins all of them. Physics at the United States Air Force Academy is very diverse. There's a lot that they can do here, and so it's, it's always fun to see what our physics majors are doing outside of the classroom or the research that they're doing. Right now I'm doing research with the physics department in observing kelp planets and the light curves from kelp planets in our observatory. I'm actually doing research with the Air Force Academy and with the National Laboratory applying what I learn in my electromagnetics class and in my uh, nuclear physics classes. That research is conducted through our in-house five research centers and they are all funded by external Department of Defense and other government organizations. So not only are you completing coursework, but you'll be mentored, you'll be doing research on problems, real world problems that are relevant to the Department of Defense. The Air Force is in charge of two thirds of the nuclear triad. So having cadets or future officers with knowledge of nuclear weapons makes sense as our country looks to modernize our own nuclear weapons. For my research, I'm studying the effects of thermal radiation on clothing and how we can protect people. All cadets have a secret clearance, so we're able to go into details about nuclear weapons that you wouldn't be able to do at a regular university. And we'll bring cadets in to one of our research projects and they won't really know what they're doing when they show up. And by the time they leave, they're sort of the experts driving the research, so it's really fun. Oh, go good man! I grew up in Oklahoma and so I've been interested in weather my entire life. And coming to the academy I knew that I wanted to major in something that I was interested in and passionate about and meteorology has been everything for that. Meteorology major is a shared or interdisciplinary major here at the United States Air Force Academy. It is shared between the physics department and the department of econ geosciences. Weather balloons are launched every day from major airports to collect the data, but having that capability here at the Air Force Academy allows cadets to have a hands-on approach to collect data about the wind, the temperature, the pressure, uh, the humidity uh, in the vertical, all the way up to uh, today's balloon launch went up to about 60,000 feet. It's nice being able to do stuff that applies to the actual world and I can see in everyday life. What I love about being here and what I think is very unique is the fact that there's a lot of opportunity to mentor our students. So many places you don't know where your students are going to be. But here, I know all of my students, when they graduate, they're going to be officers. And so part of what I do is to teach them physics, but also to help get them towards that goal and make sure that we're producing the best officers that we can for the United States. I can say for sure that the growth and development I've experienced here is exponential compared to that of what I think, what I believe for myself I would have experienced at a civilian institute, you know, because you don't, you don't know what your limits are until you test them. My limits have definitely been tested and I know now that I can do more than what I think I'm capable of and the, the power of the mind and so I'm, I'm very, I'm very thankful to be here and thankful for the challenges and the opportunities that this place has given me. What gets me excited about our students is that I know that they're not just physics majors. I know that they have chosen to serve our nation, and that makes me very proud. 
I'm graduating in May. I'm going to be a weather officer at uh, Scott Air Force Base in St. Louis and forecasting in the world's greatest Air Force. I'll be going out to uh, Laughlin Air Force Base in Del Rio, Texas to start pilot training. When I graduate this spring, I will be headed to Vance Air Force Base in Enid, Oklahoma for undergraduate pilot training, and I'm hoping to fly C-17s. I also feel confident that the next generation is going to uh, continue to ensure our national security. There's no doubt in my mind.